Uh, I'm not very musically inclined, but I kind of equate it to being the conductor of the orchestra. Like it, it's, it's the conductor's job is to get everybody to play their instrument to the best of their ability. And when done and, and blended beautifully, you know, you, you get harmony and you get some nice music. And that's ultimately what a conductor's job is. And I view the same thing as a leader, uh, a leader or a coach, or really you could fill in any word there, parent, teacher, manager, director, supervisor. It's your job to find the strengths of each person on your team, mm. put them in the right position where they can maximize those strengths and make a maximum contribution to everyone else. And if everyone is doing that uh, in alignment with the vision or the North Star that the leader has set, that's when you have an extraordinary team. Respect has to be given first. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you have to have a respect for those on your team. You have to have a respect for the process, a respect for your organization, a respect for the game, if you will. Um, so the respect has to generate from you as the leader first. Uh, and then on top of that, you'll start to build in things like trust. Hmm. I mean, you need to earn the trust of every single person on your team and you earn trust by giving trust hmm. and, and, and showing and having behaviors that show that you are trustworthy. Um, and these things all provide the foundation to which your leadership and your influence and your impact will, will eventually be built upon. The basics, yeah. you know, that's something I really embrace uh, are the basic fundamental principles or the, the fundamentals, if you will, of what it takes to be successful in any area, mm -hmm. especially that of leadership. And we all have to make sure that we are um, paying homage to the basics every single day. And I know in my own life, um, anytime I'm not performing at a level that I believe I'm capable of, it's usually because I've unconsciously started to drift away from the basics. Mm. I have to refocus that lens and get back to them. And that usually puts me back on the, the right path. One of the, the pillars of being an exceptional leader is simply caring. Mm. Is caring about the people on your team, is caring about your mission, is caring about your organization as a whole. Um, and, and then you think of, all right, what are the building blocks of how do you show someone that you care? Right. Well, I'm a big believer you invest time with them hmm. and, and you invest your most important currency, which is your attention in the present moment. Yeah. So when you have an opportunity to be with someone on your team, give them your full attention, actively listen, you know, have a genuine curiosity to get to know not just more about them from a professional standpoint, but even from a personal standpoint, mm -hmm. find out what's important to them and truly solidify that connection. And then when they know that you are all in and you truly care about them as a human being first mm -hmm. and as an employee second, then they're going to increase their requisite buy-in and believe in. And now you've got, uh, you've created a culture where, where everyone is working together to, uh, to make a maximum contribution to move towards that North Star. But, but for me, it always starts with caring. And hmm. you know, that, that's not something you can fake. That needs to be genuine and it needs to come from your heart. And, and you show people you care by investing your attention in them.